What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's unboxing, we are going through some subscriber boxes that were sent in. I look forward to things like this all the time. You guys are fantastic, such a great community. And if you guys ever wanna send us anything, whether it's for us or something to donate to someone else or some sort of organization, I appreciate it. it gives us free content to do. We get to do an unboxing on the channel and then we send it on or we fish with it. We appreciate you guys either way. If you're considering doing so, just shoot us a message and we'll do the thing. If you guys like the content today, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring that notification bell, come back for more when we drop more content, and hang out with us Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. We go live right here on YouTube. I think you guys are gonna like what's in these boxes. I already took a peek, and uh, I'm stoked. Let's do this. I'm gonna do this box first because uh, I'm intrigued by it. I already got permission. This is for Chaz. Chaz is the producer of our podcast. If you guys don't know him, he is the man behind the screen who pushes the buttons and makes the things go, okay? The reason the show Burly Fishing Podcast actually exists live right now is because of that guy. So we appreciate him a lot, and so does our community. Uh, so this one comes from our buddy g Fon Kim. You guys might know him as the JDM connoisseur. He is the orderer of JDM products, and in fact, in a future video, and he doesn't know this yet, because I'm gonna message him now, we're gonna give him 100 bucks to buy us a whole bunch of JDM stuff off of Tapa Warehouse, and we'll do an unboxing of that. So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be a ton of fun. And hopefully I'll get to fish it on open water soon. Wouldn't that be crazy? This ice could just get the heck out of here. So this box is for Chaz. I'm gonna send it on to him afterwards. I already asked Chaz if it was cool if I opened this stuff and he said yes, cause he's a great guy and a great producer. Look at this. It's a Game Boy lunchbox. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm super jealous. Very tempted just to steal it, but I wouldn't do that to Chaz. Also this little note here for Chaz. Sorry guys, <laughs> not for Burley. Sad. Look at this thing. That's so cool. It's like a full size lunchbox that looks like a Game Boy. Love it. So already winning, Chaz. Good job, guy. And if we open this thing up, first of all, it opens like this. So that's nifty. We got a lot of bubble wrap in here. I'm gonna save it so I can ship this to Chaz. Check it out. Look at that. I'm not even upset because I'm gonna give this guy a hundred bucks and he's gonna buy us a bunch of this stuff too. But let's take a look-see. All right, first up, we've got the Ima Glide Bait. Ima? Ima? I don't know, I'll work on my pronunciation, but check this out. Look at that, the flash to it, that's fantastic. I promised Chaz I wouldn't take these out of the box, so uh, I'm holding to my word here. This is his stuff. Uh, but if you guys listen to the podcast at all, you know that Chaz really only talks about glide baits, swim baits, and fishing shirtless and shoeless, because he's a weirdo, but we love him. But there we go, look at that thing. Next up, big fan of the Lucky Craft, check this out. Boom, I actually, have a few of these lipless in different colors and they are fantastic. Had a few sent to us by another subscriber, Greg Whitaker, so appreciate you, Greg. And this one is just that flashy shad pattern, super flashy. I love that the scales are done really well though. You get a lot of brands where those scales are just stuck on weird somehow through like their process, it doesn't work out, but these look fantastic. Then we've got, oh my gosh, what is this? Look at these trebles. Big upgrade for your trebles. Uh, we got some mega bass here, and I don't cat cat cut swage cut swage hook. I I have no idea. You guys tell me. Give me the phonetic pronunciation, if you will, in the comments below. But there we go. These things are sick. Uh, this thing is absolutely bonkers. Uh, Gfon, if you're watching this, when I give you money, order me one of these. Uh, this is the Batra Six. Look at that thing. It's got like a jitterbug lip to it. You know, it's it's a frog with actually there's a there's a prop tail down here, a little boot. You see the hook on it? Look at that. That is hyper unique. I don't know if I'd even fish this thing. Take a look. Oh man. This thing is high tech. This thing is off the rails. You can remove the lip. Look at that. Removable. So you can take the, the little walking lip off of it and fish it more like a weedless frog because obviously you're not taking that through the heavy stuff. But uh, that is a super cool bait. We know these Okashira screw heads. These are fantastic. We've got several on a few different weights. Obviously g a fan of these things because he sent us it several times. I love it. We got some good old Mega Bass Vision 110 replicas. He sent us a few of these as well. So as not to leave Chaz feeling sad about it, he sent him a couple. 
Love it. Ooh, we don't have these though. I'm assuming these are fantastic for like the screw heads or something, but check it out. We got the Mega Bass Haze Dong. <laughs> I'm a child. Haze Dong Shad three inch. Little three inch shad. I love that. That's such an awesome little finesse paddle tail. I'd be all about that life. And last but not least, oh, these are sweet. The Rock Hog? Get out of town. Those are freaking cool, man. And you get six of them. Juice, man. Chaz, you getting the juice, dude. Look at this. All right, so we're gonna repack this gently for my boy. Back just the way I found it, Chaz. If it's broken when you get it, I didn't do it. And I felt the need to read this out loud. Also, I have no idea what this is, but maybe Chaz can enlighten us. This is a letter of appreciation for Chaz. Says, yo Chaz, happy birthday, nerd. As of whenever this video drops, Chaz just had a birthday, so happy birthday, Chaz, we appreciate you. On behalf of all of us, thanks for your hard work making Jeff and Paul look like cool nerds. As opposed to regular nerds. Uh, that can't be an easy task. I promise you, it's not. It's very difficult. Lots of filters. Uh, dropping you a Japan-themed box here and hoping it helps you catch a new PB. I love it. Tight lines, g -fun, Kim. The one non-Japanese item is this hook. It is a Native American fish hook made from deer bone. Apologies, I have no actual authentication papers, etc. Look at that. That's cool. So that explains the mystery of this little hook. I love it, dude. That is super cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, Chaz is uh, Native American. So that is a super special thing to send, man. Thank you. I'm gonna tuck that in the padded envelope situation here. Try to protect it, okay? There we go. Okay, one subscriber box down. Let's do the other one. So this one comes from our boy, Raka Blades, Bear Raka. His kid actually sent some of this stuff too. So I really appreciate you guys. There's a ton of stuff in here. Lots of Lake Fork brand, which I haven't fished a ton of. I've gotten a few here and there from subscription boxes in the past, but yeah, just haven't really put them to work. But right off the top, I have what looks like, I don't know, adult diapers or something. Something wrapped up. I have no idea what this is. It does say seize the day, and I love that. So let's see what the heck this thing is. Oh, hey. Okay. Look at that, dude. Look at it. Raka made. Dude is knitting. Somebody in the Raka family is knitting these. I don't know who knitted them. Maybe it's in this letter. Let's find out. We got two of these bad boys. Look at that. That's so freaking cool, man. I love it. Some beanies to keep our nerd heads warm. Oh boy, this is long. Stay tuned, I'll speed it up. Jeff and Paul, first things first. All the Guggen baits in here are from my son. He wanted to share some of his winnings from the Guggen meetup at the Shields in North Dallas. Congrats, bro. That's awesome that you won these. Second thing in the Ziploc bag are two beanies that my wife made. There you go. Thank you, Mrs. Rocca. You are fantastic. Uh, for you guys, the black and blue is for Paul and the copper and chartreuse is for Jeff. That makes total sense. I love it. Uh, she put some info about them in the bag. We hope you like them. The Sakoshi bugs were some extras from an order I did and figured I would share. The rest of the lures are from a company down the road from us. I got you guys a variety of their more unique lures and colors I liked for each that I thought would work well. Well, all except for the Merviolate baby ring fry, which just caught my eye. I asked and was assured that the curly tail baby shad and chartreuse glow does in fact glow nice. Paul, the Tony Saturated singles packets uh, were one of my favorite finds the last few years. I keep some in the car in my lunchbox for work. I've only gotten a chance to fish a couple of lures. I won during the Autism Anglers live stream. Only one catch so far, but that's still a catch. That's awesome. But I'm determined to do a slam. Uh, let Chaz know I'm working on some stuff for him. Just want to thank him for all his work. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to send you guys some stuff I make myself. Thanks as always for all the awesome videos, shorts, lives, and IG posts. Thanks, Raka. Hashtag burn big sunscreen and hashtag Ned Rig nerds. That's so cool, man. I appreciate it. Gotta love a nice handwritten letter, dude. That is, oh man, that's awesome. Well, here's the info from Raka's wife about these hats. Thank you so much for the videos. The whole family enjoys them. That's so cool. Uh, hope you like the hats. Mostly acrylic, so hopefully not too itchy. Stay warm, the Rockas. Appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. <laughs> this is actually super cozy. How do I look? Pretty rad. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the show. And this one will be for Paul. This is like heavy duty on the dome, man. All right, let's do this. 
Let's start with the food items. If you guys have seen a Raka unboxing before, he always sends food. And he loves that Tony C's, man. Tony Satchery's singles. Singles. Are you joking me right now? Hang on. <laughs> That's perfect. The perfect amount of seasoning, almost. Paul will need like six of these per meal. That's awesome, man. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. And this time I don't even have to share. <laughs> I will. This is uh, again from the East Texas Jerky Company. We got crushed red pepper. This is my juice. This is what I'm all about. And they've got that dill pickle. Uh, this one we mentioned was like a sleeper flavor. That thing is the juice. So go check out East Texas Jerky. Yo, you guys, this is a lot of freaking baits. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. We're gonna burn through these. Off the top, we got two, count them, two of these Guggen Squad frogs. What are these called? The Filthy Frog? Filthy Frog! First of all, I mostly like these just because they say eat me. In fact, I have them just sitting on my shelf, so I do have an all black one. I had a white one. I think I gave it away at some point, but here's another white one. White is always a great frog color, so I'm, I'm digging that. And then the bullfrog color, man, you can't go wrong. These are fantastic. Um, Want to get on a frog bite this year. I'm on an actual quest for it. We're going to make specific days for it. Last year, we did not do enough frog fishing, so it's going down. Next up, we got the Sakoshi Bugs. Check these babies out. Um, I do have this color, and I do like this color. So these are 2.5-inch Ned Rig-style baits, uh, creature style. This color is called Twilight. Elaztec-esque, right? There we go. Nice color to it. Light on the one side, dark on the other side. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, there's purple flake, purple and black flake in here, silver flake on the light side, that's cool. And yeah, I mean, it's a Ned Rig bait with like a little creature claws and stuff on that, so that's awesome. P.S. I'm so dumb, I just realized this is copper and chartreuse, which is copper truce, which is the juice, which is our favorite Ned Rig color. So dumb. How thoughtful, you guys are fantastic. And Paul does love a good black and blue. And then there's a whole heck ton of more Guggen baits, dude. Uh, oh, if these, oh, these are all the juice. I do actually love these on a drop shot. So, uh, this is the, the dragon drop. You get nine to a pack in these bad boys. We got watermelon. We got watermelon. We got morning dawn. Oh my gosh. These are the juice. I don't think I've thrown these in a morning dawn before. So, uh, appreciate you guys. I think this was part of the, the Guggen win that uh, Raka's son got, which is so cool, man. I really appreciate you guys sending that in. Look at that. Split color tone on that Morning Dawn is absolutely juicy. You got a high action tail here because it tapers down and then back up. Look at that thing. And again, I've fished these a bunch. Mostly like the green pumpkin pearl or like natural colors that they have I've thrown and I've gotten a ton of catches on it, but that's absolutely juicy. I'm excited to throw this in that morning dawn. Oof, oof. Okay, so then we got all this Lake Fork stuff. So off the top, got something nice, magical, and easy to use. That's a stinger hook. Throw that on the back of your frogs. Always a good option. I do love that. Uh, if you're getting short struck, you're missing frog bites, this can be a game changer. Then we got these guys, the Live Magic Shad. Look at that. That is quite the interesting little paddle tail. Um, gonna be completely honest, this case is terrible, Lake Fork. Uh, I know you make bags, use your bags, so maybe this is like a classic thing that I shouldn't even fish with. But check it out, it is sweet though, look at it. So we got a segmented paddle tail here, look at that thing. It's short, it stanks, oh my gosh it stanks. <laughs> and it's got like easy rigging set up as well. Love the color, it's like a watermelon pearl. Oof. I love green pumpkin pearl, it's like one of my favorite colors to fish with. Watermelon pearl, that's probably better. Uh, I'm stoked to try these babies out. So this is the one that he said he wasn't too sure on. It's similar to something, I've, I mean, I've tried the ring fry before. Look at how freaking bright it is. Oh my gosh, that's insane. If you guys could see this through the back of the package, uh, it's nuts. Do you see how bright that's showing up? This is without my phone light, that's with my phone light. It's gnarly. So that's a super, super bright color called Murthiolite. Murthiolate. Murthiolate. Oh, yeah, it is a vibrant like fuchsia coming at me right now, but look at that. So that's a baby ring fry. I love it. 
Could make a great weightless rig, wacky, baby wacky rig, drop shot wacky, fantastic like power shot setup with this, uh, or just Ned rig it, man. It's, it's thick enough on the interior there. It's got like all these little undulating ribs to it, but it's thick enough on the interior. We could net rig this. I'm digging it, dude. It's like this orange pink combo. Super cool. What else we got here? So many things. Oh, we got another one in uh, juicy, juicy color. This is Carolina pumpkin chartreuse. Baby ring fry with that chartreuse and like a brown color to it. Oof. That is awesome. This is uh, obviously a fantastic color combo. Somebody's got great taste over at Lake Fork. Gotta love that chartreuse. All right, then we got some really unique worm variations here that I'm stoked to try out somehow. This one's sick. It's called the Hyper Stick Okeechobee Cross Swirl. Look at that. It is a essentially stick worm <laughs> with the segments. I don't know how durable this is gonna be, but obviously wacky rigged. It's gonna have a, a unique action. I don't know if it's a better action or what. This is interesting, man. I'm sure it straight catches them for sure. If anybody's tried this, hit us up in the comments. But look at that. Like you're not getting the normal action of uh, a regular stick worm. You're getting these pieces like immediately just flapping around like crazy. So it might have a bigger, more aggressive movement maybe. I don't know. Okeechobee Swirl is that like blue flashy material with green pumpkin. Then we got two of these magic wackies they call it. Let's take a look. So obvious center section, easy rigging. Uh, thicker section too, so maybe multiple fish it could survive for. And then it's got like these little fork hands. I don't know what that is. Interesting. So that's gonna give it added action, a little different look in the water. I dig it. That color is black magic, magic wacky black magic. There's a lot of magic going on here with Lake Fork. And it's based on a magic legendary lake, so that makes sense. And then this other color is called watermelon shark pepper. Boom, look at that baby. So we got the chartreuse, we got uh, watermelon base, you know, that kind of like translucent green pumpkin with the black flake. I'm digging it. Next up, we got this Hyper Finesse Worm in Motor Oil. Motor Oil is a super cool color, kind of a, a classic color. But anyway, so this is the Hyper Finesse Worm. Hot Motor Oil, it's called. Sounds like, uh, you know, after you have some Taco Bell breakfast. All right, so look at this thing. So we got the little segments there. Yeah, and there's a little tiny finesse tail. This thing is sweet. Could be an awesome like power shot, drop shot, uh, type setup, shaky head, little finesse shaky head. I think that'll be juicy. Uh, maybe even Ned rig or a weightless. Oh, look at it. Finesse rigs, shaky head. It's almost like they prefer that. Also, they got the baby ring fry on a drop shot. They got their creature baits we'll see in a sec. They got the hyper stick there for a weightless rig. They got this thing I haven't seen yet. Maybe we have one. We got a, they have a craw tube. All right, well, did I get one? I don't know, let's find out. So finesse worm, super cool. Got another color here, uh, which is green pumpkin, gold, purple. This one is called the Hyper Whackin' Worm. Ooh, it, it is juiced up. These things all like reek, by the way. Oh, that's super cool, check that out. That has a ton of action. Again, little thin segmented pieces there, but now with the finesse tail with a little ball on the end on both sides. Yeah, this like goby kind of color to it. I dig it. Gold and purple, can't go wrong. That thing is crazy. So a nice, uh, like kind of a finesse wacky rig. I'm stoked for that. that. That I like a lot. I will definitely use that. Okay, we got some little tiny baits here. Live Baby Shad. Comes in three colors that he sent us. So we've got Fire Perch, Chartreuse Glow. I'll show you guys that one. Glows. He said he promises it glows. And then black gold chartreuse. It's almost like Rocket knows that we like chartreuse. All right, so let's look at one of these. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. A curly tail on it with the segments. So it's a ton of action. This is gonna be like a crappie slayer. I wonder if we could do this to the ice. Probably could. That thing is sweet. I'm, I'm all on board for this. That is a really cool bait. Couple awesome colors I can see throwing this on, like a 132nd ounce jig. And uh, you know, maybe a, I can see throwing this on like a lighter jig on the ultralight setup and just going after crappie. Okay, last up, we got three creature baits to take a look at. Let's see what we got. All right, this first one 
is the Baby Fork Creature in Sour Grape. Sour Grape's a really cool color because chartreuse and purple. Oh my gosh. This is literally the Nedrig Nerd Sour Grape. Look at that. It's weird. Great minds think alike. This is a really cool creature bait. It's got, you know, again, the undulating ribs there, but we've got these little boot tails coming off that look all funky. Uh, and they're going to move a ton in the water. And then you got a curly tail, man. You can't go wrong with a curly tail. Look at that. That is a sweet bait. As far as their rigging tips, you can see that that's one they recommend to Carolina rig. Carolina, Texas, free rig, something like that. That would be really cool on there. Here's another color that it comes in. This one being the blue bruiser. So we're getting a nice color sample way here. Again, I've never fished this many uh, Lake Fork baits. I really only did uh, maybe like one or two worms and I think the regular ring fry. But look at that. So black and blue with hyper flashy blue flake. Juicy, juicy, juicy. And finally, we got one more here. This is the baby hyper freak in tilapia. Tilapia color. Oh, <laughs> this thing is sick. Look at that. This big crazy tail here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look up what to do with this. But uh, it looks like we got little eyes here too. So this is like the front appendage. It's weird. So I don't know, maybe weightless. Carolina, any suggestions on here? None? I'm gonna look it up. I have no clue what to do with this, but it's really cool. All right, there we go. Another successful subscriber unboxing. Much appreciation to the Ned Rig Nerds community. Thanks to Rocket Blades for sending us a whole bunch of stuff. Thanks to Gfon Kim for taking care of our boy Chaz, the producer of the podcast. We appreciate you guys so much. Thanks to Mrs. Rocka for this. And thanks to Rocka's kid for sending us some Guggen stuff to play around with, including colors I haven't used before with the drag and drop. So you guys are awesome. Keep being awesome. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash a like, ring that notification bell. Come back for one of these lives that we do. Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there. Talk to you in chat. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, Copper Truce hat out. We'll see you on the next video.